All right, so this video we're going to look at doing a frequency polygon. All right, so here we have a frequency table. We have the uh, interval and we have the frequency. So, I mean, I don't know the, the interval. It could be maybe we can call it ages, the ages of people. Um, and I don't know the frequency we could call it maybe I don't know the hours uh, they watch TV okay in a week per week all right so what we have to do to do a frequency polygon is you know, you know, here we have ages 11 to 20. People from ages 11 to 20 watch TV about 13 hours a week. Ages 21 to 30, 7 hours a week, and so on. Well, we need to get the midpoint of each interval. Okay? So the way that we do that is we, we add the two numbers. So that would be 11 plus 20. Okay? We add the lower limit and the upper limit and divide by 2. So that would give us 31 over 2 which would give us 25.5. So 25.5 would be the midpoint of this interval. And then we would do these intervals the same. You would do 21 plus 30 divide that by 2. Well that would give you uh, I'm sorry, it's not 25.5, that would be 15.5, and this one would be 25.5, okay? So this would be 15.5, okay? All right, and then for the next interval, we would get a midpoint of 35.5, and the next interval, 45.5, all right? So now that we have the midpoints, we can go ahead and draw our frequency polygon. So the way that we do that is, let's see, let's come down here like this. Okay. And we have, uh, let's see, we got 15.5, we've got 25.5, we've got 35.5. And we've got 45.5. Okay, that would be the like the x-axis, and this would be like our y-axis. So this axis we could label it ages, and uh, the like the y-axis that would be hours of TV per week. Okay. And then we need some numbers going up here. So you can see we have to go all the way up to 14. So I guess we could go up in, uh, I'm sorry, 15. So I guess we could go 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, and 16. And then... <coughs> We just plot. We plot the points. So the way that we plot the points, our points would be in the form, the midpoint would be like our x coordinate, and the frequency would be like our y coordinate. Okay. So for instance, the first point, we would plot the point 15.5, 13. Okay, so let's plot the points. So 15.5, 13, that would be about right in here. Then we have 25.57, so 25.57 would be about right here. Okay, and then 35.515, uh, 35.515, 35 about right in there. And then 45.514, that would be about right there. Okay. 
All right. And then what we do is we connect them with the line. Okay. Let's see if I can draw this one a little better. All right. Now, <clears throat> whenever we do a frequency polygon, so we have all of our points plotted and we have them connected with lines. And for the X, you have to use the midpoint, and then the frequency gives us you know the height on the y axis but also what we do with the frequency polygon is you can see here how it starts with 15.5 well if we were coming back this way what would be the next midpoint okay you can see the difference in these are tens see if we add 10 to this we get this 25.5 we add 10 to 25.5 we get 35.5 well if we subtract 10 we would get we would get 5.5 and if we add 10 to the last one that would give us 55.5 ah. 55.5 Okay, so when you're drawing a frequency polygon, wherever the next midpoint would be below the first one, and wherever the next midpoint would be above the last one, you connect it to the axis at z, like your frequency would be zero here. Okay, and you would do the same thing here you would connect it to the x-axis. All right, and so this would be our frequency polygon. All right, so I hope this video helped. Uh, give me a like, subscribe, uh, check out my other videos. Thanks for watching.